welcome to real world scenario based networking series today i have another interesting scenario for you and today's scenario is based on eigrp inter es behavior and here is my topology on the screen as you can see in my scenario there are three routers r1 r2 and r3 all the routers are connected like this interesting thing in this scenario is you can see the lan subnet on router 1 and router 3 same lan same local area network is connected on router 1 as well as on router number 3 we have same subnet here 10.1.1.0/24 and here also 10.1.1.0/24 after that here is my eigrp configuration in this domain we are running eigrp as number 1 in this domain we are running eigrp as number 2 first question can we run multiple eigrp process on single router answer yes you can run multiple eigrp as on single router or multiple eigrp process on single router in my case see on router number 2 we are running two autonomous system number autonomous system number 1 and autonomous system number 2 correct it mean what it mean router 2 has two source two routing source to reach this subnet 10.1.1.0/24 right in my scenario router 2 has two routing source to reach in lan subnet 10.1.1.0/24 right router 1 and router 2 will have eigrp neighborship in autonomous system number 1 here we have eigrp neighborship in es1 and here we have eigrp neighborship in es number 2 done that's why router 2 will be maintaining two topology table topology table 1 and topology table 2 in both topology table we have same ipv4 network subnet 10.1.1.0/24 10.1.1.0/24 but next hop in topology table 1 is 12.1 which is r1 ip address and next hop in topology table 2 is 23.3 means r3 ip address and question is this r1 sorry not r1 r2 will install which path in their routing table router 2 has two topology table in both topology table we have same subnet but question is which path will be installed in routing table of r2 or question can be asked in another way like here is a admin pc if this admin pc is going to ping is going to ping 10.1.1.1 router 2 will forward traffic to which gateway to router number 2 or router number 3 right from router 2 traffic will go via like go towards r3 or towards r1 and guys this is scenario based network engineer interview question recently one of my paid student received this question in interview he shared question with me and i thought to make one video on it it can be helpful for others right maybe you can also face these kinds of question in the interview then so now what you need to do now you need to pause this video think about this topology about this scenario and write your answer in the comment section that router 2 will install which path in their routing table router 2 will forward traffic for 10.1.1.1 towards which router via router towards router number 1 or router number Three, right? Like next stop, or I can say what will be the next stop IP address on router number two for this submit ten dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four. Most of the people are saying router two will perform load balancing, but guys, this is not right answer. Why most of the people are saying router two will perform load balancing? And don't worry, I have same topology in GNS three. I am going to show you practically as well, right? Practically, I will prove. everything right you will get to know and you can also check in your gns3 or in packet tracer router 2 will not perform load balancing why most of the people are saying it will perform load balancing because cost is same matrix is same from both side one router 2 will advertise this stand subnet to router number 2 one router 1 will advertise this 10.1.1.0/24 to router number 2 let's suppose matrix is 10 
so when router 3 will advertise then also metric will be what 10 because both are fast ethernet link but in this particular scenario metric doesn't matter metric doesn't matter here router 2 is not going to select best path on the basis of metric if you are thinking about redistribution because we have two different es absolutely fine but i am not i have not configured any redistribution right just i have enable eigrp on this interface on this interface and on this interface i have enabled eigrp as number one here i have enabled eigrp here and here as number two right now i have verified on router number two two topology table are there and one route is one path is there in routing table which path will be installed by router 2 in routing table if your answer is load balancing no incorrect if your answer is router 1 will forward traffic via router number 1 then tell me the reason why not via router number 3 if your answer is router 2 will forward traffic via router number 3 then tell me the reason why not via router number 1 by the way guys correct answer of this question is going to be via router number one only right in the routing table it will install 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and 12.1.1.1 will be next up right in this topology topology table one there will be zero successor as you know eigrp has concept of rd fd successor feasible successor so there will be zero successor not for this for this successor is going to be one and in this topology table successor is going to be zero right successor in topology table one is one successor in topology table two is zero now let me show you this practically first in gns3 after that again i will explain it if it is needed or question can be asked in another way as well as i told you if this is the pc and if I am pinging 10.1.1.1 from this PC, router 2 will forward traffic towards which router? Via route towards router 1 or router number 3. Hope scenario is clear to you. Now, let me take you to my computer screen. And here you can see, we have same topology here. In the GNS3, I have same topology R1, R2, R3. We have same LAN, and here is a PC, PC1. First of all, if I will access PC1, by the way, we don't have access of PC1, no problem. If I will access router number 2, and if, let's verify the EIGRP neighborship first. So, IP EIGRP neighbor, and you can see router 2 has two EIGRP neighbor. One is 12.1.1.1 on fast Ethernet 0 slash zero and whole dot time srtt time rto time sequence number q count you can see and this particular neighbor is in which es in es number one one more neighbor is there in es number two which is 23.1.1.3 in es number two and router two have two topology tables so ip eigrp topology right you can see first topology table in which es in es number one in es number one it is receiving 10.1.1.0 uh, slash 24 and one successor is there this is the fd and 12.1 is the next of ip address another topology table here it is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 and zero successor right there is no any successor for this network fd is infinity fd is infinity so what i told you matrix doesn't matter in this particular scenario matrix doesn't matter fd is infinity for second setup okay and next up ip address for this one is 23.1.1.3 if r1 will goes down or if this link will goes down or this network will goes down then router 2 will start is forwarding traffic via router number 3 or it will install this subnet in the routing table via router number 3 what is the concept whenever whenever EIGRP router learn same prefix from multiple ES, multiple autonomous system, then EIGRP prefer lower ES value, right? 
router 2 is learning same prefix 10.1.1.0 from two different autonomous system in ES number 1 also in ES number 2 also and two process are running on router number 1 we can enable multiple process of EIGRP on single router we don't have any issue with that done so whenever router EIGRP router learn same prefix from multiple autonomous system number EIGRP router prefer lower or lowest ES number right the prefix which I am receiving from lowest autonomous system neighbor will be prefer and this is the reason why router 2 don't have any successor in autonomous number 2 and in autonomous system number 1 we have one successor and now you can verify the routing table finally so IP route EIGRP you can see 10.1.1.0 slash 24 is reachable via 12.1.1.1 hope it is clear to you now this particular scenario for more videos on different scenarios different real time scenarios like this video and share your feedback how was the class if you want to master routing protocols switching protocols modern technologies visit pmnetworking.once check our live courses and if you found any course helpful for you useful for you you can register yourself that's all for today guys we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye but don't forget to share your feedback about this video and like the video thank you